Let's honor the Lord for what God is doing. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, just, uh, just a few days ago, in our in the international pastor platform or forum, uh, a, a, a short message was posted, and the pastor, you know, this is an international pastor forum. And then they were asking who has the full message, who has the full message, or what's the title of this message, because they didn't know it was just a short clip. And then I called the title of the topic for them. I said the discipline of a crucified leader, because I've listened to, I've seen the message before. It was a message that GS made many, 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 many years ago in Congress. And then so I and I mentioned the topic. Then I quickly went to Pastor Matthew Akamu's uh, platform because no, I quickly went on YouTube, I typed it, and uh, it showed up on Pastor Matthew, uh, this thing. And I discovered I had not even subscribed on maybe the second channel. I don't know. I was wondering because I thought I, I subscribed. Maybe the first one. I can't remember. So as I saw the message, I quickly copied it and sent it to that platform. And then they asked for another message again. I came back again. I saw it on the platform. I, I sent it to them like that. And I had to tell them on that platform that if they need old messages, old messages of the GS, they should subscribe to this uh, pastor's platform. Now, we may not know how God is blessed. But that's why I told Pastor Matthew some time ago that um, we may not know, he may not know, sorry, how much of lives that have been blessed just by somebody coming to the channel. Messages that you cannot get. Uh, for example, I, I think I still got about two messages uh on the youtube and then i have to even tell a sister please subscribe to this channel because some of those old gs messages that people cannot find access to they are there on pastor matthew's uh, channel and it's a great privilege that lives have been blessed we want to thank god for that channel we want to honor god for what god is doing through that channel and then we were able to see the full message of the discipline of a crucified leader very powerful message that was preached by the GS. And then other messages are just there. If you discover that GS has quit one odd message that you knew in the 90s, and then you are wondering where can you get it, you check the channel of Pastor Matthew, you may likely find that message there. That channel is blessing life. And let's give glory to God. It's time for us to propagate and to exalt and honor the Lord and also publicize that channel. For many to be aware okay, that, that their lives can be so blessed through the old messages of GS and even of, of the current one too. Let's honor the name of the Lord. Please, are you praying? I can't hear anybody praying now. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. In, the in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want to read now, based on what we are considering tonight, in Second Samuel chapter fourteen. Is a story. Is a story of Joab, Absalom, and David. Is a story of uh, and. Uh, that story, 2 Samuel chapter 14, verses 1, verses 2, and you read down to the end of that passage. Let me summarize the story. The story goes like this. Joab, having seen what happened, remember in chapter 13, uh, uh, Tamar had been defied by uh, Amnon, the first son of David. That's in chapter 13. So there was an incest being committed. Uh, siblings of the, I mean, children of the same parents, of the same father, committing uh, immoral affair. That's an incest. That's a sin. And Tamar happened to be the younger sister of Absalom. And the Amnon, being the, the first son of David, committed such a terrible sin through the influence of his friend called Jonadab. And eventually, uh, Abs uh, Ab uh, Absalom planned the death of Amnon. Amnon was eventually killed. Uh, Amnon was killed. It, it was orchestrated by Absalom. Absalom behaved as if nothing had happened, but he kept that thing in his heart, in his mind, 
the way some people do, they will think you think they are smiling with you and they can keep families for one year, two years. They can even be pastor, they can be leader, and diplomatically they will be dealing with you. You think they are your friend and they are not really your friend, they are your enemy looking for an occasion to destroy you. All friendly foes, the Lord shall expose them around us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray tonight, first and foremost, that the Lord should expose every fr uh, friendly foes, all the people that look like friends, maybe friends to us, even on the platform, and we think they are with us as leaders, or we think they are with us as members, but they are friendly foes. They are not really friends. They are not looking for an occasion for destruction, an occasion for our fall, an occasion to make a recatchal and jest of us, the Lord shall expose them. The Lord shall reveal them. Your Amen. friendly foe shall not destroy you. Your friendly foe shall not see your end. You could see what Absalom did. He kept the thing for two years, two years. And he kept that malice until he wasted the life of Absalom, uh, the life of Amnon. Let's pray. Our friendly foes will not get us. They will not get us. I, I don't know whether it's my phone. I cannot hear people praying, but I believe you are praying. In the name of God, we pray. In the name of God, in the name of God, in the name of deliver, Father. Deliver me from friendly for Father. Deliver, Lord God, many from friendly for Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to now read. Uh, let me read from uh, what uh, what Joab did. Joab now saw that King David was not happy. And he was ready to probably deal with Absalom, his son. You know what King David, uh, Joab did? Joab was a king, uh, was a captain of the host of the of the army of David, David just like uh, 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 Abner was the the host for Saul. Now, what did Joab did? He came to a woman and he told the woman that the woman should pretend and behave like a widow. And the woman behaved like a widow, and she came to David and began to do permutation and all of that on David. Begin to kill the intelligence of David. We are going to put that that we give us a standard spirit as pastors and leaders. We will not be deceived by men and women. People come for counseling and you think they are genuine about counseling they are coming for. And they are simply coming to deceive. God will give us a discerning spirit, a discerning heart. We will not have people like Joab who will hire people to come and deceive us. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Please pray, Pastor. This is Pastor Prayer. This is Pastor Prayer. This is Pastor Prayer. The sunning of the Spirit. God will help us to be discerning. Discerning. We will be discerning. We will not be blind leader, blind pastor, blind leaders over the people. Our life shall discern. We shall discern error. We shall discern deception. We shall discern when the people are lying. Even when they come for counseling, we shall discern. The Son, in the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? In the name of Jesus Christ, in that we will descend. But the grace to the power to descend, the gift of the Son, grant unto our people, Father. He has for give our wisdom, give our understanding, give our knowledge, the discretion, perception. In Jesus' Jesus. mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, I, I think I, people are praying. Uh, yes, I can hear people praying. Now, again, we saw what eventually happened. How David told the woman, uh, after the woman was trying to play game on David, David said, go on first, go on first. I love that action of David by telling the woman to go first. I, I think I had done that before. Uh, although my, I did not tell the woman, the person to go home. I only told the person, please allow me to pray about this issue. And that the mistake the person made was that she allowed me to play to pray on the issue. And it was after prayer, it was obvious. Thank God, pastors, leaders here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have been terribly duped. I would have been terribly manipulated. I would have been terribly duped. I know I would have been duped. It would have been terrible. You see, sometimes it's not good to take irrational decisions. Sometimes you, you give allowance and you tell the person, let me go and pray about this issue. We want to pray right now. No, God will give us the patience. God will give us the patience. God will give us the patience. Where the devil wants us to take irrational decisions and destroy our family, the Lord will help us to have self-control. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? In the name of Jesus. 
in the little go to go in the bed look at the last thing in that you had a go no wisdom in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen in Jesus' name we pray, pray them, Pastor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, we're going to pray. You know, I'm just narrating the story for us instead of reading it over and over again. Now, what eventually happened? David eventually knew that. David now said, Woman, it seems I was going to ask you a question. Have you been hired to deceive? Have you been hired? Uh, he didn't put it that way. He was just asking the woman if the hand of Joab is in this and all that. And that man, uh, the woman had to open up. Yes, yes, yes. And the woman agreed that uh, David was right. But eventually what happened, David couldn't do anything to Joab. We are going to pray that no man, no devil, no demon, no personality will incapacitate us from doing what we are supposed to do. Can you imagine? There are people in the church, they'll be doing something, and you find a pastor is not able to address the issue. God will not allow our mouth to be shut against evil. Probably because the person knows the secret, and you know David knows the secret, and Joab knows the secret of David. He has the, all the secret of David in his hand. And so, it's difficult for David to deal with Joab. That's the danger of a pastor who is having any secret affair. And somebody is away. He cannot deal with that person because he knows. Should he do anything like that, his secret will be revealed. We are going to pray. There will be no skeleton in our cupboard that will make us to be afraid of confronting sin, confronting evil, confronting unrighteousness. I posted on my Facebook that... The reason why you find many cannot kick against corruption, of course, examination of party, corruption. Many are guilty, are guilty, and it is difficult to be against what you are guilty of. It is difficult to preach against what you are guilty of. It is difficult to speak against what you are guilty of. Let's pray. Our hands will be clean. Our hands will be pure. Holiness is a weapon. 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 Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What's the praying? What praying? And we're talking to God now very quickly. Look at this. I'm going to read. Uh, we're going to pray. We will not have children like Absalom. Absalom was too diplomatic. Oh, my God. Absalom was too diplomatic. Highly diplomatic child. We are going to pray. God will deliver us from diplomatic children. Children that will behave that they are born again. And they are not born again until we hear their story on campus. Children under our roof that we behave that they are cool calm and collected and the moment they leave our roof and then we begin to hear stories and then we cannot believe our eyes that these are our children we are going to pray god will deliver us from strange children god will deliver us from diplomatic children god will set us free from children like absalom are you praying please in the name in the name in the name of in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, if you got children before, the government you got children right now, they know our children that have encountered with the Lord, our children be born again, our children have a relationship with the Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Lord, my Lord. In Father, Jesus' Jesus. name we pray. Amen. Uh, we are not, yeah, since we are not praying this prayer way, I say God will deliver us from strange children. I told her a story recently of children who, who, uh, these were young people I know, young people that have been under my, you know, young people have had, uh, you know, they've, uh, they've had me spoke, they've had me talk, and all of that. Children that mother is a leader and all of that. 
they are not, we're not talking of children who are not in church, children who are in church and all that. And they're only for the boy, the senior to impregnate the younger one. I'm talking of in my area, not something very far. And there's such a, a strange thing. And even the girl while I was talking with her, she said, and she had to be the one to open up to me that who is responsible? I never knew she was pregnant. I never knew she had delivered the baby. And she had delivered the baby. And she had to deliver that baby for my own elder brother. That's an abomination. That's strange. We are going to pray. God will deliver us from strange children. God will set us away from strange children. God will liberate us from strange children. God will deliver us from Absalonic children. Pray! In the name of your Father, how shall we pray? In the name of Jesus. 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 O Lord, mercy, God, eternal Father, everlasting King. That is like unto you, Amen. God is like unto you, you and I, God, Lord, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, I rest so many people's apart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, let's see what Absalom did. Now, we're going to pray. Uh, look at what Absalom did to David. As you read down, you will not see how Absalom uh, eventually had his way. You know, David forgave him, and then David allowed him in. This is what many people do not know. Somebody is not worthy of being in your inner circle. But because some leaders and pastors and believers, they do not understand what we call, they think when we say be careful of some people, they think that's keeping enemy. Somebody has betrayed you over and over, or even betrayed you once, you are not too quick to begin to trust the person. It doesn't mean you are doubting the person, but you want to be very careful so that the person does not destroy you and waste your life. Look at this, Absalom. He did something so bad, terribly bad. And then he ran away. And then Joab pleaded on his behalf. And David forgave him. Look at what I'm saying in verse 33. So Joab came to the king and told him. And when he had called for Absalom, he came to the king and bowed himself on his face to the ground. If somebody bowed himself to his face to the ground, Shebi, in the true sense, he shows the humility. Am I correct? Yes. But Absalom here, it was diplomacy. So you can see now why we need to pray that prayer again. All this, yes, sir, yes, sir, pastor. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Man of God, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some people can have a modest thought, modest plan, modest aspiration. And yet, they are doing yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. And you will not know they have a monstrous plan to destroy and to win. May God give us discernment. May God Amen. reveal our uh, open our eyes. May God help us to be discerning. Oh God, make me discerning. Oh God, make me discerning. I will not be a carnal leader. I will not be a carnal pastor. I will not be a blind pastor. I will not be a spiritually blind pastor. I will be discerning. I will discern danger. A danger around I will discern. Error around, I will discern. Deception around, I will discern. In the name of Jesus. It's not enough to hear, say yes, ma'am. It's not enough to say yes, sir. We must be discerning. To know those who are in our inner circle. Those who are with us, whether truly they are of God or not. May God make us discerning. May God make us discerning. May God make us discerning. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall be discerning. God will speak to us, telling us the danger of going along with this person. God will be revealing to us. God will help our children. They will not end up with strange men, strange ladies. Strange wife, you will not have a son in law that will destroy you, you will not have a daughter in law that will waste you. I am telling you a lot of quitters in the church today. Quitters, 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 even in holiness church. Quitters, quitters, we will not fall into their hands, we will not fall into their hands, we will not fall into their hands, we will not fall into their hands. Well, women will not fall into a trap. I will say, I will be I will be distracted. I will not fall into that trap. I will not fall into that trap. We don't fall into that trap. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, I will lead one more prayer point. Pastor Bandy, you pick it over from here. 
as I leave the last prayer point. In Second Samuel. Second Samuel, we are going to pray right now. And we are going to pray for Pastor Matthew. Yes. That whatever enemy that are ganging up against him, wanting to destroy him, his ministry, his, his life, his uh, family, whatever power, village, anywhere, paternal, maternal, anywhere, from any angle, today, Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord shall destroy those power. The Lord shall rise against those power and destroy them. Arise, O oh Lord, and let the enemy of Pastor Matthew be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let the enemy of Pastor Matthew be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let the enemy of all our pastors be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let the enemy of all our brethren that have joined tonight be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, pray. Pastor Matthew, your enemy shall scatter. They shall run elder scatter. They shall run elder scatter. They shall run elder scatter. Confusion is their portion. Confusion is their law. They will run elder scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Peter, your enemy shall run elder scatter. Confusion is their law. They will not destroy all those power. They will not waste all those power. They will not get you. The enemy shall not exert upon you. The sons of the wicked shall not afflict you. They will not get you. In the name of Jesus, Pastor Ali, from yesterday, everyone who has connected tonight, all the pastors who are not able to connect, the Lord Himself shall fight for you. The Lord Himself shall fight for you. You shall be stronger than your enemies. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father. Even the prayer I've led tonight, I ask in the name of Jesus that you will hear, you will answer, and you will give testimony to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Over to Pastor Bunny. Just leave for some time and answer Pastor Matthew. Let's your appreciation until the Lord this plan, the, 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 the grace to pray. Let's your appreciation. You continue to pray. Let's give it, we thank you the power to pray. In terms of the grace to pray, in terms of the anointing to pray, let's appreciate your children for the power to pray. But I would say, a, 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 power, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless church is powerless. Let's appreciate your children for the power to pray, the spirit to pray. Let's appreciate your children for the Lord. Let's appreciate your children for the gratitude for the children for the energy for the prayer to pray. Let's appreciate the strength to pray. Let's appreciate your children for the Lord. A powerless Christian is a prayerless Christian. A powerless Christian. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless church is a powerless church. A prayerless church is a powerless appreciation to the power to pray. The spirit to pray, the power to pray. But with he 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 let this up the back that take this along. You have you have thought on this part of prayer. Teach us how to pray. Teach us how to pray. So appreciate the Lord. Teach us how to pray. Lord, this up you have thought on this part and this and this and this. This part of prayer, teach us how to pray. Then for how to Lord, teach us how to pray, teach us how to pray, teach us how to pray, teach us how to pray. In that is for how to go, give me the power, the fire, the enthusiasm, the parents to pray. That's for how to the Lord. Then for how to go, they told Lord, give me the power to pray. We want to pray. So give me the power to pray. Give me the grace to pray. Give me the energy to pray. We want to pray. So give me the power to set a prayer up on fire. Set a prayer up on fire. For how to go, set a prayer up on fire. We want to pray. We want to pray. Your spiritual ability will depend on how you know how intense you are prayer. Therefore, intention to pray. Our spirituality will depend on how intense we are in our prayer. That's what happened to the law. So give it the power to pray. Intention to the prayer. That's what happened to the law. In the prayer is the weapon. Prayer is the weapon. Teach us, you teach us a hand to hold our fingers to fight and answer the power to pray. The prayer to pray. You to, you know, to give us a self away to prayer. That's what happened to the law. So set a prayer that on fire. There a heart on fire, the prayer out of fire, as a prayer out of that's what happened to the God given a prayer to pray. In the name of the heart unto the Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the people of the the party descend, descending palace, don't let the Lord give the party descend. The party descend, the party descend, that's what happened to the Lord, that we the great to be to be prudent. That's what happened to the Lord, to be prudent, that we are walking, tell the Lord, I declare, declare, I walk in the wisdom of God. I declare, declare, I'm with one walk in the wisdom of God. I declare, declare, I'm walking in the knowledge of God. I declare, declare, I'm walking in the 
in understanding of the Lord, let's go out unto the Lord. In the name of walking the shepherd and walking God and being guided by the Spirit of God, go out unto the Lord. I'm guided by the Spirit of discerning. I'm, I'm prudent, I'm prudent, I'm prudent. I'm, I'm, I'm able to discern, let's go out unto the Lord. Go give me the power to discern. Go give me the power to discern. We are walking the wisdom of God. We are walking the wisdom of power to discern. I believe to discern. Don't do give me the great discern. Do not be falling before the danger anyhow. You don't fall into the hand of wicked women. Let's go out unto the, in the church, in the church, in the church. Then you don't give me the power to discern in the church. Give the power to say no more in the church. Give the power to say in the next part of the God. Give the power to say in, in the church. So no woman will catch us. No woman will catch us. No girl, no youth will catch us. What happened to the Lord? In the what happened to the Lord? God, give me the power to send that. Give me the power to send it. Give me the power to send that. What happened to the Lord? God, help us to the cemetery. I left and I right. You know, for today, you know, for evil women, you know, for your hand. You know, be trapped. Don't know, deceive us. That's what happened to God. Give me the power to send that. The God, that's with the wisdom of God. God, the wisdom of God. That's what happened to God. God, that was wisdom. That God, God, that was knowledge. That God, with God, that was descent. That's what happened to the Lord. We cry unto the Lord, we gather by the Spirit of God, not the Spirit. We need power to descend. We need power to descend. We need the Spirit descending. We need the Spirit descending. You know, I know the Holy Ghost to descend and help us to be able to descend. That's what happened to the Lord. That's what happened to the Lord. Lord, help us to descend, oh God. Help us to descend, oh God. That's what happened to the Lord. Let's cry unto the Lord. So many things are happening in the church. But look at the church in the beginning. Look how the Adelias and Safira, they could have destroyed the church if the Holy Ghost was not there. They could have descended. Did not, not, if Peter couldn't could have couldn't descend, if Peter did not have the spirit of descent, they would have destroyed the church when the church was born. But God had the spirit of descending on death. The church was not destroyed, was not, was not destroyed when it was born. Let's go out unto the law. You don't want to fall into all these dangers. What what what, what, what we don't want to deceive in old enough, but all these women. You don't want to receive this or with, with this uh, this witch witches. You don't want to deceive by all these marine marine spirits that go out unto the Lord. The woman that come from marine kingdom, we don't want to receive. Not only the witches, witches, but uh, 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 the way favor, the way favor, the for the creature destroy the world, destroy the world witchcraft. You don't want to point to other witches. You don't want to have the hand to point to the hand of witches. They go out unto the Lord. What do we don't want to point to the hand of all drug. We want to, we don't want to point hand of all these prostitutes and high blood. They go out. Unto the Lord, that God give me the power to send, God give me the spirit to just for heart unto the Lord, that's for heart in that's for heart unto the Lord, that's for heart in the name of Jesus, in the name of Paul, Lord God, mercy, God, turn up for everlasting King, in the name of heart unto the Lord, power to send, ability to send, power to send, ability to send, that's to God, God, God give me the grace to descend, power to descend, power to descend in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Let's open our Bible to Numbers uh, 16, verse 23. Numbers 16. And there arose of the four Moses who settled on the children of Israel, 250 princes of the assembly, uh, famous in the, in the congregation, men of renown, and they gathered together against Moses, against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye too, you take too much upon you. See all the congregation are holy, and every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Therefore, then lift ye up yourself above the congregation. You know, this you know, is this, this a condition where there was, there was a challenge. You know, uh, uh, the, 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 the Quran, Detan, and Abraham, they, they challenged the authority of Moses. But we know if Moses has not had if Moses has not got a, a, a greater power, look at the challenge. Let's not put a hat onto the Lord to bring our pastor before the Lord. That will God give our pastor the power that cannot be challenged. Look, look at these people challenging Moses. If Moses, God has not intervened on Moses, look at what could have happened to Moses. Let's put a hat on to bring our pastor before the Lord. That will God give our pastor the, the, the power that cannot be challenged. Let's put a hat onto the Lord. A power that cannot be God force and not your father pastors. A power that cannot be challenged. And not that kind of resistance, and not that kind of that, that kind of challenge for heart unto the Lord. Go for his power as never before upon a minister. Go for a power that never before upon a minister. Because of the some church, because the, the, the members are more richer. 
to the pastors. So they, they, they challenge them. Therefore, they go give the pastor the anointing that kind of challenge. Go for anointing that kind of upon a pastor. Go for anointing that kind of challenge upon a pastor. Go for anointing that kind of resistance. And not that kind of resistance upon a pastor. And not that kind of molestation upon a pastor. Go for the Lord. Go for not the fullness of the power of the Spirit of God. Go the struggle in envelope of a pastor. They will be possessed by the Spirit of God. And not that kind of challenge. And not that kind of resistance. And not that kind of challenge for heart unto the Lord. That's for heart unto the Lord. And not that kind of challenge. And not that kind of resistance. And not that kind of ridicule for heart unto the Lord. Go for a non step upon a pastor. Don't move portion the, the very garment of Elijah that go give unto a pastor for heart unto the Lord. And not in and upon a pastor. And not upon a pastor. And not in and upon a pastor. And not upon a pastor for heart unto the Lord. Pray go hold the Lord. And not upon a pastor. So go. Oh, boy, I'm not upon a pastor, sir. Boy, I'm not upon a pastor. Anoint, anointing. Oh, should I come from God? Anoint, should I come from God? That's what happened to the law. Go feed the pastors. I bring overflow with anointing. Feed them. I bring outflow overflow upon a pastor, sir. Outflow overflow upon a pastor, sir. Outflow overflow upon a pastor. That's what happened to the law. Bring a pastor before the law. Then bring a pastor before the God. Feed them. I bring overflows with anointing. And not to that kind of be resistant, and not to kind of be that kind of challenge. But we bring ourselves before the Lord, Lord, pour your spirit upon me, and not to that kind of challenge you anybody for heart on to let you ourselves before the Lord. God, fill us and bring over flow that anointing. We want to anoint him. We want to anoint him. We want the Father, the Spirit of God to come upon us. We want not the Spirit of God to come upon us. We want the Father, the Spirit of God to come upon us. We want not the Father of God to come upon us. The people are not left for heart on to the Lord. The Father, the Spirit of God, not the Spirit of God. Oh, no, set a heart on fire. Lord, set a heart of power, Lord God, for your glory. Oh, God, Lord, God, hope be heavy for spirit of honor. Oh, be heavy, rain and anointing of prayer for heart unto the Lord. We need power. We need anointing of the spirit of God. We need power. We need anointing. We need power. We need first for heart unto the Lord. Let's for heart and not that kind of resistance. And not that kind of challenge. And not that kind of resistance. And not that kind of God, for his power for us. We need first anointing. Ever increase the anointing. Ever increasing anointing. Ever increase on another for heart unto the God, for his power. God for the anointing upon us. Let's for to within an anointing. We need an we need anointing. Is that not that be different? But we live by live by day. The anointing is not there. We live by to be big. The anointing is not there. No, Christ be in the church. You know, no, it's only the preacher. He preaches his word and he demonstrates his power. And like that preaches word, he demonstrates his power. We need anointing. We need anointing. We need anointing. That's why we need anointing. We need anointing. We need fresh anointing. We get anointing. We get higher anointing for us unto the Lord. That God is for his power. I go for his anointing. I go for his power. We need fresh anointing. We need fresh new anointing. We need fresh anointing. You are less for heart unto the God's for his power upon us. I go for his spirit upon us. Go for his anointing upon us. Go spirit upon his spirit upon us for heart unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 Let me God. Let me ask her before the Lord. Let me for revelation. Bible, the children of children of Isaac, they know they knew what Isaac ought to do. The Lord will pray for this. Let me ask for this children of children of Isaac. That's what I told you. They knew what Israel ought to do. They knew what Israel ought to do. I knew what Israel ought to do. That's what I told you. The Lord will pray for the spirit of the, the spirit that will give this people of children of Isaac. They, that, you know, they, they have revelation. They have revelation. They have revelation and inspiration. They, they could see what God uh, they see what, they, what Israel ought to do. That's what I told you. The Lord. That's why we that for concern that church, concern that church, that go give it deeper revelation, feel or no, deeper revelation, deeper understanding. What the, no, the, 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 no, no preaching the word of the, 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 the no preaching the word of God for the, 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 the right of word of God for the season. That's why I talk to the Lord. That God give a revelation of His mind. That God give a revelation of His mind. We feel the flock, the food that the, the flock, what they did at the right time. That's why I talk to the church. The children of Israel they knew what Israel ought to do. That's why I talk to the Lord. No God be smart unto us concerning. I need a church. God reveals his power unto us concerning our children. God reveals his power unto us concerning our businesses. God reveals our mouth. That's what happened to the Lord. Oh, Lord, God, give us the spirit of children. Israel. They knew what Israel ought to do. They knew what Israel ought to do. They knew what Israel ought to do. That's what happened to the Lord. A revelation. What do the do? No revelation of the Lord. God give a revelation. God give us inspiration. God give us visitation. God give us vision. God give us direction. That's what happened to the Lord. That's what happened to God. Lord, God, mercy, God, eternal Father. But that's what happened to the Lord. That's for heart unto the Lord, go, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. That's for heart unto the Lord. That's for heart unto the Lord. That's for heart in the name of Jesus. 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 That's for heart unto the Lord. Lord, we want the spirit of revelation. We want the spirit of visitation. Proper visitation. Proper vision. In the name of the Lord. That's for heart unto the Lord. That's for heart unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that's what the Bible says. We, Moses, because the people of Israel, Moses, no, no, Moses means the promised land. That's what I told you, the Lord. We, need, we don't need to anyhow way. Moses means the promised land because he was, he was provoked. Because he was provoked, because he missed Canaan. That's what I told you, the Lord. Every character before the Lord. Christianity is not another religion. Christianity is, is, Christianity is the heart and the nature of Christ manifest to the Christian. Christianity is, 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 is not another religion. Christianity is the heart. And the nature of Christ being manifested in the Christian. That's why I come to the Lord in the name of the Christ. I go, you know, go with the new character of Christ manifested in the Christ for the character of Christ. They pray for the character of Christ, the character, the nature of Christ. For I come to the Lord. Oh Lord, go pray for the nature of Christ, 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 Christ the fruit of the Spirit. It, it's not a charisma, it, it's, the, it's, you know, it's the fruit of the Spirit that will qualify us for heaven. They pray for the character of Christ. They pray for the content of Christ. If Christ were here, how would Christ have been behaved? That's what I don't do. That's for the character of Christ. Uh. That's for the character of Christ. Uh. That's for the character of Christ. Christ love, character, holiness, which no one can see the Lord. Holiness without which no one can see. Therefore, I don't do the Lord. That's for the God given us Christ love, character, the Christ love, character of the manifestation in us. That's how nature of manifestation in us. The heart of Christ manifested in us. Therefore, I don't do the Lord. We be a light in the world we go. We be an ambassador to every to our family. The nocturnity begins at home. Their family first. We be an ambassador to our family. Therefore, I don't do the Lord. Be a family to our family. Be an ambassador to our family. We be a light to our family. We be prophet to our family. Therefore, I don't do the Lord. In the name of the Lord, I don't do the Lord. In the name of the character of Christ, conduct, our conduct, our last hour, will bring people into the kingdom. In the name of character, of conduct, will bring people to the kingdom. Therefore, I don't do the Lord. Every character before the law, every conduct before the law, tell the law anything that go contrary against the word of law, forgive me, Father God, on anything that's not God, and go take it away. In the tell the word that seen or showed that if I see not no more, go out unto the law in omission, commission, negligence, forgive us, oh God. Whatsoever we need to know that we don't know, we pray for relation, that's what I don't do the law, bring a character, Father, any character, I have and they got a seventy that go go to against the world of God have a show for me. Anything I'm doing that I don't see a privilege by revelation because I don't want to be seven. I don't be seven at the same way. I don't want to be seven for I don't do the law. You know, I would, without the, we, we would not be seven. Why are we really Christian? Why was it on this earth and no we belong to Christ? Your most women must be zero. Perhaps it's only one life is soon be passed. What is done for Christ? That's what that's this is what that, that's what will last. That's why I don't do the law. It's only one life soon be passed. What is done for Christ that will be last. It's only one that should be power that down for Christ. I would not want to last that's what I don't do the law. That God help us to live heavy in view. You live be heavy in view. We live heavy in view. That's why we that's why I don't do the law. That's why anything that we came to make the rapture will not take it away. In the name anything in the as that's not gonna be rooted up. In the thing that's not going to be rooted up. In the character that's not gonna be rooted up. Anything that prevents you making everything that is rooted, that's why I don't do the law. Let's pray out unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let's pray out of God in the name of every living that prayed before the Lord. Abraham believed God. He did not stagger. Abraham did, did not stagger. Oh, no. The senses will tell Abraham it's impossible. Reason will be telling Abraham it is impossible. But Abraham trusted in God and the promise of God. And let's pray out unto the God. Let's God. This Abraham can of faith. Abraham trusted God. He didn't listen to the senses. Abraham trusted God. He didn't you know, listen to reasoning, but rather you know, hold on to the word of God. That's why I don't do the Lord. God give us a wavering faith. God, God give us a staggering faith. That God give us a wavering faith. That God give us all this unstaggering faith. God give us ever increasing faith. That's why I don't do the Lord. Ever increasing faith. Unstaggering. Unstaggering faith. Unwavering faith. A great faith. Unshakable faith. Unconquerable faith. That's why I don't do the Lord. God give us great faith, oh God. Give us strong faith, oh God. Give us Great faith, oh God. Give us strong faith, oh God. That's what happened to the law. That God, you know, a great faith, God, you know, God, oh God, increase our faith, oh God. That's what happened to the law. But said Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God. Don't consider his body as dead. But you know, I was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Know that God has promised, has power to perform what he has promised. That's what happened to the law. He didn't listen. He didn't. If we were to listen to the reasoning, we would tell you that's not possible. You might listen to his senses. Senses will tell you that it's impossible. But by, by the but he, he, by, by, by he held on to the promise of God. He, he, he look up on God who has promised, who has given that promise. That's what happened to the law in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that's what happened to the law. That's what happened to the law. God bless you, God. Turn up, Father. Increase our faith. Take us to high ground, Father. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. What's the mighty? Please. 
Parce que dit, au pasteur Peter. Pasteur Peter. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Actually, I'm on the wheel. I'm driving. So let's uh, let's call up Pastor Matthew to take over. That's why I put it on my because I'm driving. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Pastor Matthew. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, please just give me one minute. Uh, let me. Please just one minute. Although uh, the people that is uh, the second church. They will soon take over now. Just let us call upon the name of the Lord for all the prayer requests we have requested for individually. Now, by the power and the Lord of Jesus Christ, before December, we have testimony upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. There's no one among us individually. And as a family, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as we are calling people that when we are turning them by December, thing that is miraculous, thing that we have never seen, then that the around the thing that they want to happen in their family, thing that the, by the power and the blood we change the family, we change their story, we change the story of their generation, we change the story of their son, we change the children of the husband, we change the change of, of the wife. That by the power in the blood, your Jesus. Okay. As uh, we are moving forward this year, as many of us have requested that by the power and the blood of Almighty God is going to it's going to answer us in the name of Jesus Christ. We are seeing people that are saying, no, God, I want you to establish me more in the ministry. We have seen people that want God that are saying, no, I, this business you are giving to me, I want you to expand it, more than this. We have seen people who want to move from one country to the other. We see a lot of people that, that they are looking for business. We have seen a lot of a lot of family that, that, well, that this is the time for, for you to be with my family and my children. We have seen another family that uh, we have seen another family. I uh, have uh, one for a sister or two that said, No, father, you must send to me maritally this year. We have seen another another one that said, No, I know I've done mistake in this, but I want you to to to, to, to have mercy for me and let me be corrected. We bring every twenty everybody together by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. We encamp all those prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. We we shall, we 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 with the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power and the blood of Jesus, out of mercy. Out of mercy, out of glory of the Lord, out of God is God, or I am, I am. Out of there's nobody that can ask it, and there's nobody that can close if he goes. Out of there's nobody that can close if it's open. There's nobody that can close if it's open. Out of that, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all those prayers by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Almighty God is going to answer them. And our testimony will be full. Our testimony will be full. Our testimony will be full. But that's the money people will. People will ask, so we are, who, are, who is that person that have done this one for you and it's by the power of the social ebb? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, the mighty one in battle. We thank you, Lord, because how you have been with us from, from, since many years, this prayer that don't have started. Lord, but we brought challenge this year because we know you are mighty and there's nothing with you, all things are possible. Amen. We pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in this platform, many people have requested for a lot of things. And we have assured them in your name that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the last December, they will see the glory of the Lord. Amen. Father, for every one of us that ask for one thing or the other, Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will let your shower of blessing come on from heaven and answer them in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, mighty Father, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, that voice from heaven, that yes, I've done it. Let this speak to every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And by the power and the blood, all the glory will come back to you. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
by the grace of the Lord, we shall meet in the evening for the Asirila uh, midnight here, yeah, morning in the uh, in Nigeria for Asirila. I pray that that's divine intervention. Uh, uh, Almighty God will continue to guide us in Jesus' name. We will not tire Amen. and we will reap the fruit of labor of our labor on prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of, May the our, grace Lord of our Lord Christ, Jesus Christ, the, the love, love of God, God and the fellowship, and the fellowship of, the of the Holy Spirit be with, be with us, us now, now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord for a while. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All the areas that needs oh lord uh intervention in our marriages in our home in our family <laughs> you will mightily and greatly in the name of jesus christ lord where there have been tears and pain and agony you will wipe all our tears away and you will do what only you specialize in doing Thank you, Lord, for the answers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to begin to give thanks to God this morning for granting us such a privilege and opportunity to come before him even at this time. We want to begin to reverence his holy name. The scripture talks about giving thanks unto the Father who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light who have delivered us from the powers of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin. God is so faithful, faithful in keeping us, faithful in watching over our soul, faithful in protecting, faithful in doing that which uh, benefits our lives. We are told in scripture, that blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits. And part of the benefit of the Lord upon our lives is that we are born again, we are saved. Part of the benefit of the Lord is that we are being kept and preserved from danger and from all the attacks of the enemy. Part of the benefit of the Lord upon our lives is that it satisfies our mouth with good things. And so we do not want to take all of the goodness and uh, mercy of the Lord for granted. Open your mouth and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we give thanks to you. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Let's honor him. Let's glorify him. Let's adore him. Let's reverence his holy name. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Holy Spirit, I adore you. Spirit of the living God, you are wonderful. You are glorious. You are excellent. You are beautiful. You are amazing. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's thank you. 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 You are wonderful. Jesus, wonderful. Jesus, wonderful, all your works are wonderful. Jesus, wonderful, Jesus, wonderful, Jesus, wonderful, all your works are wonderful. Jesus, wonderful, Jesus, wonderful. Jesus, wonderful, all your are wonderful. Jesus, wonderful, Jesus, wonderful, Jesus, wonderful, 
Jesus name we pray. Amen. We're going to go before God this evening. <laughs> will ascend to the throne of heaven. Any stain or blemish, any spot or wrinkle, any impediment, whatever that we stand as a barrier to our prayer this morning, Spirit of the Living God, we are praying that God will take them away. No stain. God is not just a sentimental God who will just be carried away by emotionalism. No. God is a God of principle. God is a God of justice. God is a God of holiness and purity. If God sees sin, he finds a sin. If God sees things, he finds a sin. If God sees blemish, he finds that all kinds of blemishes. God finds a sin generally. We want to pray that there will be no stain or blemish all the kind of things that represent stain, blemish, spot, wrinkle, and impediment in our lives. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wipe them off, cleanse them off, purge them off, and purify them in our lives, in our heart. <laughs> our heart will be purified and made whole. Our heart will be made clean and made pure. Our heart will be made purged and cleansed. In the name of Jesus Christ, no stain will remain, no impediment will remain, no spot will remain, no wrinkle will remain, no uncleanness will remain, nothing of salt will remain in the heart in the name of Jesus Christ. That the Lord will take away every stain and every blemish, every spot and every wrinkle. In every family, let the Lord cleanse. In every hope, let the Lord forge, forge the, 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 the husband, cleanse the wife, forge the children. That's the home where there have been issues. The Lord will cleanse, forge, and purify. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're going to go before God very quickly this morning. We will begin by praying for our wives. Uh, no, I mean our children. Now the scriptures say that children are the heritage of the home. And that there's a serious, serious attack on children now in our day. And children need to be protected, highly protected by their parents. There's a serious attack. As a matter of fact, these people they call these people they, 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 they uh these people that the all these gay gay association and all of that lesbian association all those people now they anything they can do to infiltrate the life of the children and infiltrate a lot of things from the things we are reading and from the stories we are hearing and even all these cartoons that some of them are coming up with and all of that just to make sure that children have become exposed to immorality from their childhood. We're going to pray that the hand of God, supernatural so hand of God, shall protect our children. Please, if you are a parent here and you can hear me clearly, you will pray. You will not keep quiet. You will not say, No, it cannot affect my children. Who said? If you don't pray, the level of faith they are coming, the level of faith they are taking the whole thing. Let's beg the Lord, our children will not be corrupted. Our children will not be influenced negatively. In their school, the hand of God will rest upon them. Their peers will not influence them. There are schools that you go, and the teachers are highly corrupt, and they are teaching the children terrible, terrible things. Are you praying? Are you talking to God in prayer? Our children will not be corrupt. No one will get my daughter. No one will get my daughter. Oh, Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Lord keep my ch children. The Lord preserve my children. The Lord protect my children. <laughs> you will uphold all who are fair, I mean, by the Spirit of the Living God. No sinner will get up. No pedophiles will defile up. You will uphold and all who are in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, it will be protected. They will be washed over, they will be preserved, they will be kept, kept by God. I can't hear people praying out. I can't hear people talking to God in prayer, but I want to believe you can hear me. I want to believe you can hear me clearly. Let's talk to God in prayer. Let's talk to God in prayer. Let's talk to God in prayer. Lord, protect our children, whether they are abroad or they are in Nigeria, whether they are abroad or they are anywhere. Wherever they are in this world, the Lord will protect them from gay. The Lord will protect them from lesbian. The Lord will protect them from rapists. The Lord will protect them from pedophiles. The Lord will protect them from family. The Lord will protect them from evil men and women. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's, it's like, it's only a thing. Who is only one person? And say, please, let's pray along. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, Amen. somebody came today. A student came to my house. She actually called me, one of my youths, uh, one of our youths. And then when she called, she wanted to see me. And I felt, let's talk on phone. You don't have to come down and all of that. And I said, okay, tell me what you want to see me for. He said about her life. And then she came yesterday. And then, so she came to my house and uh, we, we got talking. And then she began to tell me, okay, how she did not make a wire uh, last year. And this, they were SU people in the school. Uh, he's a child of God. She's a daughter of God by the grace of God. And, and uh, so she, she wondered, and then she's trying to tell me nothing is working. Now she's doing the networking thing, uh, business and all that, and the thing is not working now. Then I have to calm her down. She should not say that nothing is working. And then I began to probe into the whole issues and began to tell her something. Then she told me something very touching, very touching. What did she tell me? She told me a month to our wire class here, she had a dream. Uh, there was this particular teacher who does not like uh, all these SEO people and all of that? She saw that, uh, that teacher in the dream. And uh, with annoyance and all of that in that dream and all that, whether the teacher lay her hand 
on the girl. And then by the time the girl in that scene and in that encounter, according to her anyway, that from that time she started having, uh, she became ill, she became uh, sick, uh, not too fine, and all that. And before she knew it, even the things she read and all that, that she forgot them just like that after that encounter with that woman. So I began to probe her, probe into her life and all that. For a child of the devil to lay hands on you and it affected you and all that. And then I began to probe into what can lead to that, what can lead to that. Scripture talking about breaking the air, the serpent will bite and all of that thing. And then there are two ways. It could also be a serious attack from the pit of hell. It, could not, it, could, it, could, it may not necessarily be that you have committed sin and all that. If battery, you must fight. And according to the game, they even fasted for like one month in their school. As young people, secondary school students, fasted the SU boys and girls. They fasted and, fa and yet they couldn't still make their result. But here is where I'm going. That woman may be an agent of the devil. That's the truth. And they are in school. Can you imagine now that such a woman is the one teaching your child? And somebody who don't like her. You are seeing children who are serving God and you are still against them. And to the point that a child is now having an encounter in their dream. We have them like that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Every demonic power that wants to influence or infiltrate into the life of my children, God shall expose them by fire. If they are from in-law, God will expose them. Paternal side, God will expose them. Maternal side, God will expose them. The so-called uncle, the so-called cousin, the so-called niece, all those reckless uncle who come to the house and defy children, God will expose them. All those reckless and licentious cousins who come into the house and then you, you allow them into the house in the name of we are family members and they begin to defy and teach children terrible, terrible things. And then before you know it, what you never, what your children never knew before, they, they start going into all of those silly, silly things. That's why I want to pray. Infiltration of the wicked, we cast it out. Infiltration of the enemy into our children, we bury it. Infiltration of the evil one. Hey, my father, in the name of Jesus, it is buried. It is destroyed. Are you praying? Are you talking to God in prayer? A man's enemy. The Bible says, shall be the people of his own household. A man's enemy, a man's enemy, a man's enemy shall be people of his own household. Don't let your enemy get you. Don't let your enemy get your ch children. Attack them before they attack you. Uh, stop them before they stop you. In the name of Jesus, every infiltration of the people of hell against my children, against my daughters, against my head, against some years, against our life, oh God, like hey, they will arise that manner of dying. They will not have access to my children. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray right now. We are going to ask the Lord concerning our wives and of course our husbands. Concerning our wives and of course our husbands. Concerning our wife and of course our husbands. We are going to have this uh, prayer. We are going to tell the Lord and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, this is the prayer point now, all the genuine concern of my wife, genuine concern of my husband. Did you see my prayer point? I said genuine concern. Genuine, there are concerns that are not genuine, and there's such a, or such a concern, they need to be punctured and deflated. Yes. There are wives sometimes, some of our, uh, the, the, the women, or our wives and all of that, they just have unnecessary concern and then, and those concerns may not be even the concern of God for the family and all that. Unnecessarily just disturbing themselves and all that. But I'm talking of a genuine concern in their heart. Whatever it is, oh God, in Jesus' name, let the Lord grant all the genuine concern of our wives, either towards the husband, either towards the children, 
either towards the family, either towards the church, either towards the, the, the nation, either towards their own business. Father, grant to them, learn to pray for your wife always. Learn to pray for your wife always. Learn to pray for your husband always. Pray for your husband if you're a woman and you are telling the Lord the genuine concern in the heart of my husband. Father, let it come to reality now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalm 37, in verse 3, verse 4, that delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. That's the prayer we are praying now. That the, 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 as we delight in the Lord, and we are praying now, as we delight in the Lord, and we read our Bible, the desires of the heart of our wives and our husband shall be granted. The Lord grant them their desire. The Lord grants them their desire. The concern in the heart of my wife, who are me, the, the concern in your heart concerning your mother, the concern in your heart concerning your siblings, the concern in your heart concerning Elaine, your younger sister, the concern in your heart concerning your elder sister, sister favor, the concern in your heart concerning mommy precious, the concern in your heart, oh God, concerning your your or your brother. Mr. Ezekiel and Mr. Endurance and Joseph, Lord, I pray, let it be granted. I ask, Lord, that you will answer my wife, oh God, in the name of Jesus. The things that bring tears, the things that bring pain, the things that bring agony, all the concern in her heart spiritually, all the concern in her heart physically, all the concern in her heart financially, all the concern in her heart, oh God, my Father, grant to her, grant to her, put a smile on the face of my wife, put a smile on her face, Lord, wipe her tears away in the name of Jesus. I consign spiritually, let it be granted. I consign for our daughters, our children, let it be granted. I consign consigning myself, our husband, let it be granted. I consign, oh God, in every area. Spirit of the living God, grant to us in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, answer with comfort from the monarch of Zion. There will be answer, there will be answer, there will be answer. And there will be testimony to the glory of the Lord. Of the mm -hmm. things you have for your wife, you will testify. Of the mm -hmm. things you have for your husband, you will testify. And so we are going to say right now, we will not lose our wife. We will not mm -hmm. encounter things that will waste the life of our wife. It is not something, you know what mm -hmm. it means? A man losing wife, and now he will not start praying afresh to have another another woman, another, after the woman has put to bed, uh, giving maybe three, four children, and the woman is just going, he said, hey, she died of cancer, she died of this kidney failure, she died of liver problem, and she, God forbid, all those terminal diseases and terminal problems that will claim the life of my wife, I say, capital, no. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to lose my wife. I cannot be praying for another woman as a wife. No, the Bible talks about enjoying the wife of my youth. We shall go together in the Lord Jesus. Sorry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Lord keep my wife. The Lord protect you from danger. The Lord preserve. Are you praying, my God? Are people praying here? Are people talking to God in prayer? Are you telling the Lord? Are you saying something? Or you're keeping quiet, keeping silent when you are supposed to be praying and telling the Lord concerning your wife and concerning your husband. You will not be a widower, a widower. And they say, that man, that man was a very nice man. Oh, that man is a nice man, but he lost his wife two, three years ago. No, I will not lose my wife. Oh, what happened was that the wife was trying to cross the road, and then there was a vehicle. She didn't look well, and an incoming vehicle just hit her, and she died instantly. God forbid. That's not the loss of my wife. It will not be said, oh, why she was trying to deliver. She died with the baby. Doing childbearing, God forbid. Be the scripture says she shall be saved in childbearing. My wife will not die and leave me. We shall go together 
the scripture must be fulfilled with long life. Will I satisfy you and show you my salvation? I refuse to lose you, who are me? Except the rapture take place and we disappear together on the surface of the earth and we go away. Except that you will not die young. You will not die young. I make a decree and a demand over your life. You will not die young. Your covenant is not a covenant to leave this world young. Your covenant is not a covenant for me to weep over you to have left me in this world. No, in the name of Jesus. Every orchestration from the pit of hell, every gathering, every covenant made from your patana matana side, from my patana matana side to cause you to die or to cause you tears and pain and to make you to leave this world and leave me alone in the name of Jesus. I come with a greater covenant. The Bible revealed to me in the word of God that the covenant with death shall be disannulled and agreement with hell shall not stand. My Bible revealed to me, I shall not die but live. You will not die but live in the name of Jesus. The Lord keep you who are me. The Lord preserve you who are me. The Lord watch over you who are me. The Lord keep you in the day and in the night. Whether I am at home with you, the Lord will keep you. I'm far away, the Lord will keep you. I'm far, far, far in the far away land, the Lord will keep you. I'm somewhere in another state, the Lord will keep you. You are with the children, the Lord will watch over you. You are out there with the children, the Lord will watch over you. You go to the market with the children, the Lord keep you and preserve you. Anywhere you go, the angel of the Lord shall be your God. In the name of Jesus, you shall be preserved from danger. Are you talking to God about your wife? Or you are keeping silent, or you are keeping quiet, and you are wondering what kind of prayer point am I leaving this morning? I hope you understand that prayer can never be too much. I hope you understand that prayer for your spouse can never be too much. I hope you understand that that's the only you have on the surface of the earth. The Bible says that's your portion. Your wife is your portion on earth. Your wife and your husband, your portion on earth. Pray for her, pray for him, and tell the Lord and say, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're going to pray for our men. We're going to pray for our men. The Bible talks about uh, men that if we're not able, that's in Thessalonians, that we're not able to provide for our own household, we have denied the faith, and we are worse than an infidel. None of our pastor will be worse than infidel. None of our men will be worse than infidel. None of our men. husband will be infidel. You can, imagine, you can imagine a man not being able to provide for his family, and the Bible is equating that man with an infidel. My God, this is serious. This is serious. This is serious. He said he has denied the faith. He said that man has denied the faith. So not being able to take care of the family, one has denied the faith, my God. And then it's not worse than an infidel. This is Bible. Now Bible talk about not be me. I use my own. And that is worse than infidel. And now we want to pray and ask the Lord and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, supernaturally, extraordinarily provide for all our pastors. Hey, my God, no pastor will be eating from hand to mouth. No Amen. pastor, no leader will be eating from hand to mouth. No leader from hand to mouth. My God, my God, my Savior, supernatural God, in the name of Jesus, that you will do something supernatural. Oh, God of heaven, open the channels from heaven. Now look at, look at it. Oh, God, how can your people now who have been serving you and then they will not be equated with an infidel because they are not able to take care of their family. How will it be, oh God? Shall they, shall they, shall they just God not do right? The God will provide for the rebels. The God will provide for the best of the air. And you told us we are more worthy. You told us we are more important. You told us we are more valuable than rebels. We are more valuable than the best of the air. Then, oh God, that is your word and you cannot change. You reveal to me in your word this morning that by two immutable things for which it is impossible for God to lie. Oh God, you cannot lie. Oh God, you will not lie. If you are steady, you will do it. And so I'm praying now this morning that in the name of Jesus Christ, 
your way provides to panelly for our brethren. Your way provides to panelly for all our men. Your way provides to panelly for everyone. We will not be seen as an infidel. We will not be called an infidel. Hey, we will not be regarded as an infidel. My God, in the name of Jesus, we will not be seen as an infidel. It will not be said we are, we are infidel because we are not able to take care of our own family. We will not be called an infidel. We refuse to be an infidel. We refuse to be an infidel. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. So financially provide. Give them a powerful job. Not the job of 30,000 and 50,000 naira. What will that do? Oh God, open the windows of heaven. Not the job of 100,000 naira. What will that do in this economy? My God, supernaturally supply. Let supernatural God open the windows of heaven. Let there be a supply. Please, are we praying, brethren? I can't hear you praying. I can't hear us talking to God in prayer. This morning, prayer should be taken serious. This morning, prayer should be taken serious. This morning, prayer should be taken serious. That the windows of heaven shall be opened. All to your husband, it will be opened. Oh, to your husband, it will be open. If you are a wife and you have joined us in this men's prayer, please pray for your husband. Pray for him. Pray for him. In the name of Jesus, his pocket will not run dry. His account will not be reading red and reading zero. In the name of Jesus, let there be favor, supernatural favor, extraordinary favor, an unusual favor, an uncommon favor. Favor that is beyond normal. Favor that is beyond normal. Oh God, oh God, oh God, let it be so. In the name of Jesus, let it be so. It's a plea and it's a prayer that we will not be regarded as an infidel. We will not be seen as an infidel. It will not be said of us that the man is a pastor, but he cannot take care of his children, God forbid. It will not be said that man is a preacher of the world. He is very powerful and he can preach very well. Only that he's a poor man, God forbid. Oh, that man is such a nice man. He's such a wonderful man. But the only thing is that he, can, he does not have anything to take care of himself or his family. God forbid. Let it be, oh God, that the God of heaven and be my supplier. Let it be, O oh God, that the God of heaven, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has been my supplier. He will supply. He will supply. My brethren, he will supply. My brethren, he will provide. My brethren, things are coming our way. Things will not be the way they have been before. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, remember all our pastors. O oh Lord, remember all our leaders. O oh Lord, remember all our pastors. Take away reproach of financial constraint. Take away reproach of financial challenge. Take away reproach in their life. Take away reproach in their ministry. Take away reproach in their family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. We're praying quickly. We're praying. Uh, we're going to tell the Lord and ask the Lord again. We're going to call upon the name of the Lord. Now, I'd like you to understand something. That when men are jobless and they do not have something doing, it's like they are almost reduced to a non-entity. Have you found a man, whether a believer or not a believer, he will naturally, in fact, if he's a believer, he will just take his consolation in the Lord. And then sometimes he's in charge, so full and pain. And then even when he hears the announcement about building project or one contribution or the other, and he sees that he cannot even take care of himself, let alone making contribution, he start become sad the more, he start become pain the more. And then he sees some challenges in the church he has to take care of that he would have just probably helped his member and then giving them something instead of just going through marathon prayer and fasting and all that. And then he's not able to do that, to provide for them. And he feels another pain. He feels another agony within him. Oh, I'm telling us that money is needed badly. Uh, seriously, money is needed whether, whichever way we put it. Whichever way we see it, we need money as pastors and leaders, as men, as husbands. We're going to beg the Lord. Ah, Olua Mio. In the name of Jesus, no wonder Solomon said that God will not deny him of this so that he will not cause God in his heart. 
do you know that if girl is not taken, there's a way hunger will wire somebody and he begin to say things he ought not to say. There's a way pain and agony of financial constraint can hit an individual. And they begin, the person begin to act as if he's running mad. We want to pray and say, Father, please look at your servant. These people are serving you. Some of them have known you for years. They knew you when they were youth. And now they are adults, having children. And they, they are still serving you. Lord God, your word says in Hebrew, chapter 6, verse 10, God is not unrighteous to forget our work and our labor of love. Won't you remember these people? Oh God in heaven, won't you remember them? Will they go like this without reward? Will they go like this and not having something to sustain them and sustain their family? We are giving God reason why God needs to bless us. We are giving God reason why God needs to expand us. We are giving God reason why God needs to provide for our family. The economy is seriously high now. Uh, PMS or petrol is sold at 500 and something. I bought last day. I bought, that was last week. 535 naira a liter and it was not it was not a joke at all I, in fact i drove somewhere to park my car there and took my girl my my daughter to school after taking her to i parked the car then went to work came back and i had to go and pick up with the car and like that just trying to economize but do you know there's going to be a kind of supply that you will not have to be doing too much calculation too much calculation no because there is essence because there is abundance. Oh, let abundance hit us. My God, I pray for abundance. Abundance can hit us that we will not be doing too much calculation before we spend. Too much this, too much that. You want to buy pepper, you are still doing smoke and doing this, doing. We want to buy tomato, we are. Still... No, 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 no. Heaven can so bless us. Heaven can so reward us. Heaven can so open the windows of heaven. Jesus, we pray, oh Lord. I believe in the God of supply. I believe in the God of abundance. Abundance is coming our way. This morning prayer, this Monday prayer will be a total different prayer. We be with the testimony in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. <laughs> Father, I give you thanks and glory and honor and adoration. I worship you because I know and I believe that you have heard and you have answered. I believe there's going to be a supernatural testimony. I believe, oh God, that we will testify. I will testify, and Lord, my pastors and leaders will testify. Pastor Matthew will testify in a miraculous, in a sublime, in a supernatural way. Lord, I'm trusting you, Sister Esther, will testify concerning herself and her husband, and everyone, Pastor Femi Ojo is there, Akimu me is there, and every other person on the platform. And all our brethren who are not here, they will all testify to the glory of God. Spirit of the living God, as you have aided us and has assisted us to pray this morning, we pray, O oh Lord, that the reward that comes to people that pray is ours in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Uh, Initially, I want I want everybody that is online to unmute themselves. We are going to special prayer today. We just uh, and I pray. I uh, know Pastor, you may always be busy, but please, I know you will give us your time this morning. I'm just been so touched, especially when Pastor your mercy touched about Nigeria today, and then we that we are very far away. Uh, many times it doesn't touch us as much. Uh, but when you know what people are passing,